All right, guys, today we are playing the Gold Silver Chronicles, and to be honest, I have failed the champion battle um, numerous times. And so, starting off with our team, we have Meganium uh, with the name Law, um, Zoro, the Tyranitar, who's just added to the team, who he replaced our Lucario, um, Inji, the Magmortar, um, Gengar, the name Rika, um, Kaigo, the Staraptor, and the Swampert, uh, named Swampert. So, um, I know that the, uh, opponent opens up with Weavile, so without further ado, let's go right into the final battle and see you here, see all the professors over here. And then we see our buddy Ethan, um, who has a lot of daddy issues in this ROM hack. Um, I highly recommend this ROM hack. It makes Generation 2 super, super fun, um, mecha evolutions for all the Gen 2 starters, and of course, a better storyline, and Cynthia was even in this story, which was really cool, and all the gym leaders pulled up for one of the battles, which was dope. But here we have Silver. And um, what I'm fearful of his team is he has a Mega Typhlosion, which absolutely sweeps my entire freaking team, and which is why I had to go back and train for this battle. Um, so here we are. Here's his Weavile um, at level 75. I imagine his Weavile is still going to outspeed me. Yep. <laughs> which is pretty pretty ridiculous. But alas, uh, ideally we should be fine. Um, I really do fear his Typhlosion, and so I brought out... Um, this this beast of a, of a Pokemon right here, particularly in order to beat him. So I actually think I'm going to use his Mega Form because I believe he's the only one who can tank the hits from Mega Typhlosion because he's an absolute tank of a Pokemon. And uh, this has all been part of my plan in order to beat him. But chances are we won't beat him. Super effective? Okay. I was going to trigger him to do a full restore. Yep. Let's just hope we don't miss any earthquakes, for the love of God. I expect another full restore, and if he's going to use all his full restores on this Typhlosion. And if that's the case, I believe we can win this battle, because uh, Tyranitar will be the sacrificial lamb of this run. But that's, that's okay. That's perfectly okay. The sandstorm has subsided. Um, let's see if we can open up a Swampert, and uh, hopefully he can tank a hit. Yep, he can. He's bracing for... His solar beam, and he can he can he can suck it because he cannot get off this solar beam. Thank God. Um, next we have this Alakazam, um, Rika the Gengar, um, reference to uh, Rika from Jujutsu Kaisen. Hopefully she can outspeed. No, she does not outspeed a level sixty three Alakazam. All right, that is indeed troubling. Um, let's bring out a Law. Oh, he's got a nasty plot setup moves. Okay, yuck, 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 yuck. I'm really glad Meganium was given a dual typing in this run because Meganium is my all-time favorite um, Generation 2 Pokemon. Although she gets a lot of hate, but uh, I think she's fantastic. Okay, here we have NG named after Endeavor. Um, hopefully he outspeeds. No, uh, she's going to set up a Toxic on NG. Okay, we have Hidden Power Ice, so it's been really useful this entire playthrough. And yep, he'll tank the Toxic, and looks like we're going good. Okay, cool. He's going to bring back out Gengar, and in response to his Gengar, let's bring out Swampert, because in this generation, I don't believe Gengar has Levitate, and we'll tank the Shadow Ball, which is fine, and he'll get hit with his Earthquake, super effective, I imagine, and he's going to drop like a fly. Okay, that's what we like to see. Now we have Electivire again. I don't even need to switch out for Electivire. Perfect. We have Earthquake. Um, Ice Punch, yeah, take us just to Yellow Health. It's perfectly fine. One-shotted. Perfect. Okay, this is the... This was the... I, listen... Although on this video, it looks like we swept their team pretty fast. Uh, I, to be honest, got bodied numerous, numerous times. I probably reset 15, 16 times before because I was super underleveled. I was like a, like a level late 50s just because there's no XP share on for me. But um, now we seem to have leveled up a little bit and uh, better strategy coming in because we knew the rotation of the Pokemon. And it seems that Silver has admitted that he stole some of the Pokemon. Okay, that's pretty... Shitty to steal a evolution, a mega evolution thing. Okay, um, I thought he was going to be the champion type thing. Okay, then who will? I haven't got to this part, to be honest. Oh, God, this is how we become the champion. Okay, I actually didn't expect this. I've not prepared for this remotely, but thank God I had Inji out first. Oh, we're full, fully healed, thank the Lord. Fire Blast, okay, he's going to have his Oka Berry. I'll be fine. That's not gonna. That's not gonna do anything against me or me. I'll be honest with you. I'll be honest with you. Offers my low tick. Um, let's put out Trafalgar Law, um, Beast Boy. Um, he's gonna hopefully 
and of course outspeed with his mega form and I, my god I, I just i can't explain how much i love mega meganium it is such a beautifully designed pokemon and it looks absolutely god tier i anyway, drew it okay okay i never like to face an arcanine i actually remember his team pretty well from our previous battles flare blitz i should be able to tank no problem and uh i have a feeling he might switch out but let's go for an earthquake and that should one shot ideally nope no is he gonna full restore again though i wonder i'm not sure okay perfect it looks like we're so far so good i haven't really had to even use any items which is kind of rare compared to my last attempts with these battles but then again i am leveled fairly uh now we have sunflora um let's bring out kaiko he hasn't had a lot of shine yet and he's going to brave bird like the beast he is take a little hit of himself oh that really doesn't one shot that is actually surprising i feel like he might swap out though i wish i had a priority move for this but oh no he doesn't even swap out okay perfect Who's next? Milotic? Oh, okay. We are back to law. And make sure to uh, leave a comment if you recognize where these names are from. Oh, the Metagross is here. He has a mega form for Metagross, I believe, which is why we will switch to NG and he'll body him. Yeah, I knew it. Meteor Mash. Steel type should be fine. Yeah, we'll be okay. We have a nice flame body, though, active. We still have Meganium's Mega putting in a crap ton of work. It should be fine. He won't live that. No, no chance, bro. No chance, man. Okay. What do we have next? What do we have next? Milotic's back. Have we not seen this for Alligator yet? We didn't have for Alligator. Maybe I'm tripping. Let me switch it out. Huh. Odd. Oh, Drift Bloom. Okay. Um... But if I remember the typing right, Fairy should be okay versus. Ooh, but death of that. Our good boy Melodic might be dead, dead right here. Hmm. I don't really want to lose any Pokemon this fight, to be honest. So I'm switching out here. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna have a flawless victory, to be honest. I don't. I don't want. I don't want even one one death. I guess. But that's Tyranitar did take a. <laughs> he did take a death previously. Oh, that energy ball might one shot. Oh no, never mind. Your boy's freaking a tank. Okay, perfect. Amazing. Does that mean we're Johto's champion in front of all these professors? This this, this playthrough was honestly one of my favorite ever in terms of uh, Generation Two. I play these all the time, and it's one of my first times playing a ROM hack. And the next, time I'm gonna try Radical Red. And I am beyond excited, but I hear it is immensely challenging. And given that I don't ever IV or EV train, I'm not sure how I'm going to do, to be honest. But it seems we have survived this one. Oh, first champion of Johto. Let's freaking go, guys. Let's check this out. Oh my gosh, let's see the Hall of Fame. Are you going to show us or just going to save? Okay, Magmortar. Oh, no. Tyranitar, Meganium, Staraptor, Gengar. Wow, that is beautiful and i love the ai uh, not the ai the character you play as i played as toka see all these names besides the swamper because i couldn't name it for whatever reason are all named after anime characters and this was a beautiful playthrough so guys um you have now seen me conquer the region of johto as the first champion of gold silver chronicles uh though the playthrough wasn't super hard I had an amazing time playing through it, and if I could recommend y'all to play through a Generation 2 playthrough, I would highly recommend for y'all to play through Gold Silver Chronicles. So guys, uh, without further ado, I do know this is not one of my main type of videos. I used to make Pokemon videos back in the day, but you know, if you're interested in this type of content, uh, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll catch y'all later.